This is actually the first 3D printed house to be put on sale. The house is actually 50% cheaper than homes around the neighborhood. It took around 9 days, 1 equipment, and 2 employees to build. Despite the critics and despite the shouts, would you live in a 3D printed house? Up here you can see one of the first, what I would call, full-sized houses that has been 3D printed. Of course they've been talking about 3D printing houses for years, and you've probably seen the small huts that have been built using this technique. But this is the first time that they've actually built the entire shell of a house with traditional roof trusses to put out a 1900 square foot home. If you stuccoed the inside and out, you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this and a traditional home. So it was built using a gantry system much like any other 3D printer, which 3D printing anymore is really just a buzzword. What they're doing here is using a specially formulated concrete that sets up quickly and can be laid down in layers, one on top of the other without collapsing. The gantry system straddles the house and it builds it from the ground floor up. The particular house took 48 hours of total print time over the course of 8 days, allowing for a curing in between. They made the footings, foundation, slab, and walls all using this technique. But with the traditional roof doors and windows, it actually seems quite cozy. So would you, could you? constructed using a giant 3D printer. The one bed, one bath home took less than 48 hours to print, but the concrete takes 28 days to harden. 3D printing homes is seven times faster, generates 20% lower emissions, and costs less than half of a traditional brick house. These sustainable 3D printed eco homes are made with recyclable materials. Printers use local soil from building sites, which is mixed with rice waste and stabilizers to make the material strong and water resistant, keeping construction as green as possible. It takes 200 hours to print 60 cubic yards with on-site tech support helping to build an entire home that's adaptable to any environment. Could this be a solution to the housing crisis in overcrowded cities?